Hello beautiful person and welcome to the next tutorial about the most beautiful language in the world, Python. Today we're going to be talking about, well, really the basics. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jupyter Notebook and how it works and how you can actually use it to store all of your notes in it uh, for the future tutorials. It's going to be a really short video, so here we go. Now, first things first. Uh, so let's say you want to actually create written notes, not code here. Uh, under cells here, you can actually select a cell type and change uh, from code to markdown. So now I can start writing. That can help you learn things so that you can actually keep track of your own learning. Uh, but the cool thing about this particular type of note taking is that there's also formatting here that you can use to kind of extend certain points or to accentuate something. So for example, if I wanted to make this like bigger or bolder, I can, for example, use these two asterisk signs uh, to make it bold or just one of them to make it italic or even three of these things to make it both bold and italic. And this is, of course, great for note taking because you can that way um, change things on the fly as, as you please, but making it uh, more visually appealing to yourself. Now, um, one thing you can do here, obviously, is also change the size of things and um, the actual syntax for this is pretty complex, but you can actually find it on the website right here. Uh, this is uh, Jupyter Wiki Markdown Syntax. And uh, this particular website actually shows you how everything works, including things like sizes. So here, by putting a bunch of equal signs uh, above this, I will now make this a really, really large header. And here, this is going to be uh, slightly smaller if I separate it by minus signs afterwards. So here, this is what it's going to look like. The biggest letters, slightly smaller, and then the smallest letters. There's a lot of ways to format your um, notes here. Obviously not really important, but let's just say you're doing this for a presentation. This can actually help you make things very, very beautiful. And so here, for example, I can use these pipes and dashes to create a table on the fly, just like this. And this way you can actually create uh, tables that are pretty good looking and are easy to decipher and so on. Uh, but this is kind of the note taking. If I want to actually start writing code, uh, I have to go into the cell here and change this to code. And so now I can actually start doing uh, code stuff. For example, the infamous hello world command. Now this uh, will not work here because that's not a code uh, cell, but the code will definitely work here. Now to run this um, on the fly to make it a little bit easier to run to basically make things faster. I usually just press control enter and it actually runs my code right away. You can do the same thing here if you're actually editing these cells. So let's just say I'm writing some text here and I want to save this. I can just now press control enter and it will save it on the fly. And then if I want to edit it again, I just have to double click on it. Um, you can also press shift enter, which will actually uh, initiate this cell, but also start another window. So control enter and shift enter are the shortcuts for um, using Jupyter Notebook a little bit more effectively. And it's actually the same on Mac, I believe, and also obviously on, on Linux. So you can use these pretty much universally. Now, other than that, all I have to tell you about Jupyter Notebook is that you may want to save a lot because uh, even though it's pretty stable, everything obviously has a tendency to crash at some point. Um, and also, if you ever by accident delete one of the cells or something, you can actually always go back here and undo your deletes. And this is something that a lot of programming language or a lot of programming tools um, often don't have. And here it's very, very easy to do. Anyway, so that's kind of it for the initial installation and for Jupyter Notebook. And in the next video, we're going to start our first program using this right here. So come back tomorrow, stay beautiful, stay awesome, and keep learning. Bye-bye.